Hello guys, this is Gaurav Galyan from droidizer.com and this is the unboxing video of Celcon Millennia Epic a device which has been launched by Celcon, Celcon recently and it has been priced at Rs 10,499 and at this price point it will be competing with the likes of the Moto G first generation the upcoming Xiaomi Redmi Note etc so let's begin with the unboxing of the device I am not actually opening it for the first time so pardon me for that and at the top as we can see here is the device itself and let's pull it out so here is the device and uh, this device actually had this screen guard you can see it's screen guard on top of it but it had all these things printed off on it so I decided to pull it off and inside we have three different boxes this one contains the earphones we'll get these out soon and this one contains the USB charger and this one contains the data cable and user manual etc now let's take a look at the boxing of the device the boxing of the device just like the cell phone is pretty slim the cell phone is 8 mm thick and still manages to pack in 3500 mAh battery which is pretty unique thing for slim phones like that at the bottom of the device at the bottom of the box pack sorry <clears throat> we have the specifications of the device and here it mentions that the SAR value of the phone is 0.450 volt per kg and 0.4539 volt per kg that's pretty decent compared to the actual compared values actual allowed values for these let's get to the box pack contents so I have removed all the pull things and all that crap packing stuff that comes with this so here we have the cell cone USB charger the USB charger has an output of 1 ampere which is not too great for a 3500 mAh battery you might want to find a 2 ampere charger to get your phone charged quicker it should get the work done though it should get the work done though and switching to the second box we have here the 3.5 mm earphones that come along with the device I haven't really checked on the quality of these will get to that in the full device review that will be coming soon hopefully and the interesting thing here is not the earbuds the earbuds are normal in-ear earphones that generally come with devices of this price budget the interesting thing here is this I haven't really seen a headphone controller or whatever you say it of this design it looks like these are buttons it would have been nicer if these were buttons though to switch songs etc but all we have here is this button which would be probably used obviously used for picking and ending calls now switching to the last box here we have a cloth to clean up the device the device is pretty prone to smudges and fingerprints etc so it will come to some good use I think and then we have the USB cable to charge up your phone or to connect it with your PC and finally what other things do we have we have this warranty card cellcon warranty card and this user manual mm, printed in color looks like so if you are new to android this might actually come to some help otherwise it may not be of much use and then we have this free screen guard if you are confident about applying it yourself then proceed otherwise take it to your nearest mobile shop and get it applied from there and then we have the device the first thing that comes to your mind when you hold this device is the 5.5 inch screen that this smartphone has thanks to that 
humongous screen size this phone is also pretty huge though not huge thanks to the body to display ratio which is pretty decent for this smartphone as you can see the screen is quite reflective and that is only magnified by the fact that i am shooting this video outdoors the phone is 8mm thick and that makes it a pretty slim device on the right side we have the power button in nearly the right center of the device and then we have the volume up and down buttons these are pretty easy to press not too hard not too you won't accidentally end up pressing these and then we have the second sim slot here on the left hand side we have the memory card slot and the first sim slot this device is now unibody device and we aren't used to seeing memory card slots on such unibody devices you can't actually pull out the back cover and remove its battery but still cellcon has provided a memory card slot and that's pretty nice the device packs in a 16 gb internal memory itself the on the front and, and on the front side of the device we have a 2 megapixel camera on the top and a proximity sensor the 5.5 inch screen and these three capacitive buttons at the bottom these don't glow or something i don't know why cellcon didn't do away these with, with this and stick and stick with the capacitive buttons we are used to seeing these days on devices like the Moto G, Moto E and the Nexus devices those on screen navigation buttons are pretty decent to use and then we have the speaker at the base these aren't loud enough to impress you loud enough uh, these are clear enough quite clear but not too loud you might miss a few calls if you are in traffic or something and then we have the cellcon branding here the branding looks nice and the 8 megapixel camera with a led flash now the device does look premium and for a price tag of 10500 we aren't actually used to seeing such nice designs we will get to the other aspects of the device later on uh, we missed the upper and lower sides so the bottom of the device has a US, USB port and a microphone and the upper side has a 3.5mm headphone jack we have these tactile dots at the at either ends of the speaker grill and these will these along with the slightly mounted camera will probably help your base of the back side of the smartphone to not directly get in touch with whatever you place on it when you place it on these it will probably get the keep the back side away from a, about an mm or something so that's pretty cool we'll get to the other aspects of the device in the full video review So as we could see there's nothing too special about the box pack contents nor do, nor do we expect any such thing from a smartphone of this budget. Still the device does look solid it has some decent looks and packs nice hardware specifications to keep the performance smooth and better. Let's take a look at how much RAM we have when we haven't installed any user application or anything like that. So here we go. And as you can see we have about 625 MB RAM out of the 950, about 950 MB RAM that we get. Now that's some good amount of RAM that we have free. Cellcon isn't using too much of the RAM for it for its system apps it does have quite some bloatware we'll discuss about that later so see you guys later thanks for